हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम मीडिया दिस इज़ निर्भय चौहान फॉर मेक लव वे सेल्फ लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स विल गाइज टूडे वी विल लर्न हाउ यू कैन यूटिलाइज असम्बली वर्क बेंच फॉर आर्किटेक्ट्स बेसिकली लाइक हाउ यू कैन बेसिकली हैव सच एक्सप्लोडेड व्यूज और अरेंज और असम्बलीज फॉर बिम ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट सो बेसिकली मीन्स यू हैव architectural objects created from the bim workbench and for them you basically want to arrange in a form of assembly right uh, without remodeling every block again and again or repeatedly right so this is mainly helpful when in case you have modular construction or you have p prefab architecture kind of houses right so there it is something very beneficial like here you can see already Uh, we have this kind of structure where you can see the building block is getting repeated right and then you have a, a foundation slab right then you have a kind of floor slab here basically with some kind of joint for the walls then again a, a building block and then you have a roof slab right so these building blocks can be repetitive you need not to like model them again that's like uh it is something helpful in the assembly workbench and this assembly workbench is basically uh the by default workbench of freecad from 1.0 version right so now let's just quickly start with it right how we can basically create such views and how we can have such assemblies right guys so let's just quickly start okay uh let's start by creating showing you like from this sample house so make sure uh, when you are creating a geometrical uh, assembly model basically so make sure uh, all of your objects are well defined right maybe in terms of bim objects like all of these are basically you can see foundation house block roof slab and then there is floor slab also which you have created in, in case there are repetitive uh, building blocks house blocks right so there you can like something it like this so make sure all this terminology and nomenclature are well defined as per your own standards so that you can easily recognize when you are inserting them or utilizing them during the assembly workbench right so you can see this is only just single story or ground floor uh, house block but uh, in our assembly this house block is basically getting repeated so we are not creating it again similarly uh, the floor slab will get repetitive so that's also we not created again right so all these objects are created only once right so now um, to start with assembly like how we can just basically make such operation make sure you are inside the assembly workbench right so there is just one struggle which you have to do with assembly is whenever you are inserting these components to your assembly uh, you need to like adjust them or constrain them uh, wherever like uh it has to be in actual manner right so those joints we will quickly see also uh it could be little bit problematic at the start but gradually you will get your hands familiar with that right so now let's just quickly hide all of this geometry or the bim objects that we have right now here you have the option of in the assembly workbench create assembly so start with this right so by default assembly is created and it is active as an object right you can double click on it to make it inactive and then you can double click on it to make it reactive right you have origin you have joints uh, which will be populated accordingly so now you have this option step by step which says insert component into the active assembly right so now how this uh, basically happens is so you basically uh, click on this option and now you can see all of the bim objects here right in this uh, option menu here from where you can insert your objects so now quickly let's insert foundation simply left click on it and now by default there is an option that uh, the first object which is inserted would be grounded like that's a kind of fixed foundation base for you so here in our case foundation anyways is the footings and foundation for the building so we want to keep it fixed so you can click on yes so or you can always uh, click on always button and like it you won't see this option next time but it's always have a good practice so just 
uh, we won't click on no or never in this case we want it so we'll simply simply click on yes right so now you have this foundation uh, which is created which is inserted in into your assembly and automatically a joint is also created which is a grounded joint right that means it is fixed to the ground now let us just quickly insert a house block click simply click on it right uh, we will make slight adjustments here click on okay or you can just i'll just show you you can see uh, it's need to be inside your foundation somewhere below as you can see there right uh, by 1 feet currently it is lying above so what you can do for that is uh, here you can just make it slightly above this is all temporary simply click on okay here now we want to basically put this surface of this build, uh, house block at the bottom of the slab here right what you can do for that is here you have an option which says create a fixed joint right like we want we making these objects movable so in majority 90% all of your joints especially in beam and architecture and practices would be fixed joint right as we don't have movable machinery or levers here there could be some you can say flexible roofs uh, some kind of that thing but that is fancy if in case you want to utilize you can have bending joints there or sliding joints there right rolling joints so all that you can do that stuff but here uh, in the architecture like most of the uh, joints that we have are like fixed one time we don't we don't want our buildings to be rolling right so now what you can do is as this was a fixed joint now uh, even you can choose joints from here also but we wanted to fix now you can either choose vertices or faces so as in this case we want this bottom face uh, this one to be fixed with our bottom face of this house block as you have clicked them now you can see this is automatically shifted below you click okay and uh, if you just high you can see it's now totally one week beneath right you can see a door object uh, like the opening for the door totally fitted right so this is the first fit for the assembly that you have done right so you have to like fit your objects one by one like it's quite quick once your hand is familiar now let's quickly insert uh, the floor slab above above this right so simply click again on this object uh, which says insert component now let us just quickly click on floor slab roof slab is flat so don't click we will click at the end of the assembly click on floor slab right uh this is well fitted i think automatically only if you just see here right this is totally perfectly fitted you can click on okay uh but still there is one challenge we basically want this object to be constrained or jointed with our uh, top of this house block right so that's a kind of challenge which basically we have to fix uh so what we can do here is uh let's just move a little bit above so that we can see the edges very neatly so now what we want to do is we want to constrain let's say uh this bottom edge of this slab right with this edge of the wall so let's click on let's make the assembly active right and now click on this fix joint option again click on this edge of the wall make sure you click select the edge properly as in the bottom you can see here it will show you whether it's a face or edge so let's go with the edge here so this is edge now i thought it had 32 click on this and now let's just click on this edge Uh, yeah, it, you can see here this is shifted, uh, <coughs> but it's not very well oriented. So let's try with some rotation like this. You can see it's moving. Let's make it one eighty degree. Now you can see this is perfectly fitted, and it is fixed with our house lock. Perfect, guys. Now what we want is basically uh, we want another house lock. 
at top of it either you can insert from here house block again or click on this house block here uh, you have an object which is his element count simply click on 2 just right here 2 right uh, and that house block is now you can click this a tree view now and it is inserted two times right so you have the below uh, house block one basically and this is the other one which you can just slightly shift above right so this is how you get repetitions in assembly that is where assembly workbench power actually lies right guys uh, now what we will do is um, we want to constrain this edge with this one so what we do is uh, simply click on fix joint again select this edge right select on this edge of the wall so this is how you're saying it maybe rotation should help let's make it 180 I think that's quite okay uh, but we want to shift it a little bit below so that it is fixed in the uh, not these offsets so here you have one more option uh, we want to shift it downwards basically uh, this is one fit distance so here you have option of which says show at advanced offsets right simply click on it click on offset one right and we want to shift it downwards which is z-axis simply right here one feet uh, it's going in that direction okay in this case it should be maybe not this it depends upon the axis basically so it should be minus one feet right click on ok uh, this is ignored fine so what was happening in this case guys uh, the edges axis is basically taken so that's how it is in that case it was like x axis so now we have our second house block also well grounded and fixed now what you can do is we can insert the roof slab click on this insert component click on the roof slab object right which is coming here because when it was formed it was lying at this plane let's make it upwards click on ok and now we will try to basically constrain it with this edge uh, we can use a face object uh, face one also uh, let's try with that one maybe uh, I don't have edges so let's go with the edges it's quite easy so click on this create a fixed joint select this outer edge you can see how the axes are basically playing it's downward so this is the first edge this is the second edge right uh, let's give the rotation like this yeah that's how it will move 180 degrees now one more thing basically we want to do with it as this is lying like this we want to like translate this click on show advanced offsets offset 1 so here it should be yeah, Z in this case so this should be somewhere around uh, basically 1 feet 8 inches around 1 feet 9 or 1 feet 10 so that estimate you can get so this should be 1 feet 10 I guess guys or 1 or 2 feet no it's going beyond so it should be 1 feet 10 click ok uh, similarly we want to do it for this axis also like from the front side uh, you can see this is quite well fitted now for this one basically what you can do is let's shift to this view click on offset one again and uh, here you can increase the y1 
and this should also be somewhere around 1 feet 10 inches perfect click on ok and ignore this warning click on ok here uh, right so now basically you have your assembly kitted for a small uh, one G plus one building right so if in case you are like you're building uh, we are bringing this uh, prefab objects into the site this is how you can place now what we can quickly see is we have this option here which says create exported view that's something very powerful now uh, so simply click on this either you can displace your objects one by one by clicking like this right and then you can see here you can see the lines also right which says how the things are positioned right uh, that's how it basically runs you can we can click on this move object and delete them also or you can create multiple exported views or you have this option which says explore explode radially click on this and then select any one axis and simply drag it now it will explode in a evenly manner you can if you click on ok uh, this view will basically collapse to bring it back what you can do is uh, explore assembly workbench and uh, assembly tree and here you have exported views further expand it and then exported view simply double click on it right and this is how basically you get exploded view of your uh, house which is assembled on site and this you can like use just to demonstrate how your objects are basically be positioned on the site and what kind of uh, sub components does this building has right guys so this was it for today's tutorial I will attach the exercise file also with this uh, video description right so feel free to go through it uh, on your own pace and if you like my work uh, feel free to contribute to this channel via coffee right you can buy me a coffee there and so that's all see you in the next video guys till then take care goodbye thank you so much